Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will use normally open contacts and we will also implement latching. So let's start. Example 9. If switch 1 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. If switch 1 is off, then motor 1 will be off and motor 2 will be on. If switch 2 is on, then motor 3 and motor 4 will be on. If switch 2 is off, then motor 3 will be off and motor 4 will be on. That means when switch 1 is turned on, then motor 1 will be on and motor 2 will also be on. And when it is turned off, then motor 1 will be off but motor 2 will remain on. So it can be turned on when will we, we will implement latching. So implementing latching keeps the motor 2 on after switch 1 is turned off. Similarly for motor 4, switch 2 is being latched. That is why motor 4 still remains on. So let's move to TI portal where we will implement latching. Let's go to PLC tags first. Default tag table. I will add switch 1 and then there will be switch 2. And after that, there will be motor 1. And the address of motor 1 will be Q0.0. .0, and then there will be motor 2, motor 3, and motor 4. So switch 1 and switch 2, and motor 1 to motor 4 are here. So let's minimize this. Go to program blocks and main OB. So let's insert a normally open contact and a coil. This normally open contact will be for switch 1 and then this coil will be for motor 1. Motor 1. And then for motor 2, I will insert a normally open contact in network 2 and a coil. And then this will be switch 1 and then it will be motor 2. But motor 2 should remain on when switch 1 is turned off. So for that we will implement latching have an open branch and then one normally open contact then close. It will be motor 2. Motor 2. Then similarly for motor 3 I will insert a normally open contact and a coil. This will be switch 2 and then it will be motor And then in network 4, it will be for motor 4, I will use a normally open contact and a coil. This normally open contact will be switch 2. And then this coil will be for motor 4. But when we turn on switch 2, motor 4 should remain on. For that, I will open the branch here. And then one more normally open contact and then close. This normally open contact will be motor 4. That is, we are implementing latching here. So we have latched motor 4 here. So when switch 1 is turned on, motor 1 turns on and also motor 2 turns on and then when switch 1 is turned off, motor 1 gets off but due to latching here, on turning switch 1 off, motor, one, motor 2 still remains on. Similarly, when switch 2 is turned on, motor 3 and also motor 4 both turns on and then when switch 2 is turned off, motor 3 gets on but due to latching here, due to motor 4 being latched here, motor 4 does not turn off, it remains on. So let's start the simulator here. Let's wait for some time.
After that, I will start CPU. Okay. And then I will turn on monitoring on and off. And then I will switch to project view. Here I will create a new project. The new project is being created. I will go to simulation tables and then simulation table 1 and then I will right click here and then load project tax. So now we are ready for the simulation. So as you can see here, when I turn on switch 1, motor 1 and motor 2 both gets on. And then when I turn switch 1, motor 1 turns off, but motor 2 still remains on. It, uh, it remains on due to latching. And then similarly, when I turn on switch 2, motor 3 as well as motor 4 gets on. As you can see also here, motor 3 is true and motor 4 is also true. And then when I turn off switch 2, motor 3 gets off, but motor 4 still remains on. It's all because of latching. It was all about this video. Thank you for watching.